I shall begin with a discussion of the scheme of things as it regards the heaven and powers above. Then I shall state the origin of things, the seeds from which nature creates all things, bids them increase and multiply. In turn, how she resolves them to their elements after their course is run. These things we call matter, the life motes, or the seeds of things, if we must find in schools a name for them. Firstlings, we well might say, since everything follows from these beginnings. And having writ moves on, nor all your piety nor wit shall lure it back to cancel half a line, nor all your tears wash out a word of it. For let philosopher and doctor preach of what they will and what they will not. Each is but one link in an eternal chain that none can slip, nor break, nor overreach. And that inverted bowl we call the sky, where under crawling cooped we live and die, lift not thy hands to it for help, for it rolls impotently on as thou or I. The second axiom is this, that nature resolves each object to its basic atoms, but does not ever utterly destroy it. To sum it up, no visible object dies. Nature from one thing brings another forth, and out of death, new life is born.
One thing is certain, that life flies. One thing is certain, and the rest is lies. The flower that once has blown, forever dies. Strange is it not, that of the myriads who before us pass the door of darkness through, not one returns to tell us of the road, which to discover, we must travel to. I sent my soul through the invisible, some letter of that afterlife to spell, and by and by my soul returned to me, and answered, I myself am heaven and hell. Heaven but the vision of fulfilled desire and hell the shadow of a soul on fire cast on the darkness into which ourselves so late emerged from shall so soon expire we are no other than a moving row of visionary shapes that come and go round with this sun illumined lantern held in midnight by the master of the show. So his force, his vital force of mind, a conqueror beyond the flaming ramparts of the world, explored the vast immensities of space with wit and wisdom, and came back to us triumphant, bringing news of what can be and what cannot, limits and boundaries the borderline, the benchmark, set forever. Looking up at the stars, I know quite well that for all they care, I can go to hell. But on earth, indifference is the least we have to dread from man or beast. How should we like it where stars to burn with a passion for us we could not return? If equal affection cannot be, let the more loving one be me. <laughs> 